crime scene tape is stretched across the North County block after a teen's body is found lying in an alley. Tonight, the search is on for his killer. This is First Alert 4 at 10. I'm Samantha Jones. Corey has the evening off. That teen's death in Pagedale is just the latest incident in North County where a young person is affected by tragedy. Our John Kipper joining us live tonight outside the Pagedale Police Department. John, you spoke to an anti-government advocate uh, about the message that they have for youth in our area. Yeah, that's right, Sam. Well, we're at Pagedale Police Department. They started the investigation, but we now know it's on the major case squad to investigate, and already there are multiple persons of interest in this case. But to your point, Sam, it is just yet another example of teen violence over here in North County. The violence, I'm trying to understand it. Lisa Legroom struggling to comprehend what's leading to recent violence against youth in the metro. It's her job to go to shootings and lend her support. This has been a hard week for me. Lagrone has lost two grandsons to gun violence. More than 30 years ago, her dad and younger brother were shot to death as well. Now Lagrone leads safe streets, safe neighborhoods. And she's heard from young people why they carry firearms. These kids, are so, it's so much going on that they scared to put the guns down. Sometime around 1 in the afternoon, police say a teen boy was shot and killed in Pagedale. Wednesday, we saw police investigating on Purdue Avenue where the boy's body laid in an alley. We have to literally protect our, um, our children, our young people, our families. St. Louis County Prosecuting Attorney Wesley Bell says they have two persons of interest at this time. Wednesday, Bell repeatedly mentioned changing gun laws to help protect the people, particularly kids. And we're seeing these guns get into the hands of younger and younger people. So we're seeing our assailants, we're seeing our victims uh, younger and younger, and it's just, and it's tragic. Earlier this month in Jennings, 14-year-old Justin Brooks died after someone stabbed him. A 15-year-old is charged with second-degree murder in this case. Kaylee Gain, who is 16, has been in the hospital for weeks following a fight in Hazelwood. She suffered a brain bleed and fractured skull. Another 15-year-old is charged in that case. Lagrone blames violent music, gun culture, and social media for this disturbing trend. They don't have enough to do. And she says it's going to take the entire community to turn the tide. I wish the kids, man, I wish they could understand, man. We just really trying to save them. But they got to try to at least help save themselves. Now, Lagrone does have at least one idea that would help at least a little bit, and that would be to give teens jobs over the summer, specifically to clean up their neighborhoods. That would put a little bit of money in their pockets and keep them out of trouble. Reporting live in Pagedale, John Kipper, First Alert 4. All right, John, thank you. Tonight, a